The H1N1 virus is a new or what we call novel virus that is circulating among populations throughout the world. The H1N1 virus causes symptoms that while they can be similar to seasonal flu, can also be more severe than seasonal flu. Well, at first, laboratory tests showed that there were several genetic similarities between this virus and other viruses that circulate around in pigs in North America. But further testing has shown that this virus is new and it is not the same virus that grows in pigs in North America. So that we need to call it the H1N1 virus instead of the swine flu. The H1N1 virus is contagious and it can be contracted through respiratory droplets and nasal secretions. It can also be contracted through hand-to-hand -hand contact when people fail to wash their hands thoroughly after um, sneezing or coughing into their hands. The signs and symptoms of the H1N1 virus are similar to the signs and symptoms of the seasonal virus. There's a high fever, maybe up to 103, 104, severe headache, severe muscle pain, weakness, tiredness, um, dry cough, runny nose, sore throat, nausea, vomiting, maybe even some diarrhea. But most people complain about the achiness all over, they say their bones hurt, their skin even hurts, even hurts to comb their hair. It does share some of the same symptoms, so you may not be able to tell whether or not you have um, the H1N1 virus or a typical seasonal flu by just the symptoms that you're exhibiting. However, those symptoms can be much more severe with the H1N1 virus. One of the things that's quite different about the H1N1 virus is the fact that it tends to target a different population and that is people under the age of 25. These are people that, that typically don't think of themselves at risk when it comes to seasonal flu, but most definitely can be at risk when it comes to the H1N1 virus. That's why it's so very important that um, the population of this campus, many of whom are in that age group, um, are aware of the signs and symptoms and the things that they can do to protect themselves. It is believed that the infectious period of the H1N1 virus is the same as the seasonal flu in that the seasonal flu has an infectious period that starts the day before symptoms start and lasts up to seven days after the person becomes sick. There are several things that you can do to help protect yourself against the H1N1 virus and the seasonal flu. First of all, it's important to note that the seasonal flu vaccine does not protect you against H1N1. The H1N1 vaccine is being produced and we expect it to be available in the coming months. In the meanwhile, it's important to cover your coughs and your sneezes, wash your hands thoroughly and frequently, and in the absence of the availability of soap and water, to use an alcohol-based um, hand sanitizer. If you get sick with flu-like symptoms, you need to go home and stay home for at least 24 hours until the, the fever is gone without using any sort of fever-reducing medicines. You do need to seek medical care if you have severe symptoms, and you need to isolate yourself from others, even in your own household. Yes, there are medications that will help treat the H1N1 virus as well as the seasonal flu virus. Those antiviral medications can be prescribed by your healthcare provider and what they will do is help minimize the symptoms that you're um, suffering from and also they can shorten the duration of illness that you experience with either the H1N1 or the seasonal flu.